Hello, my name is Marcel, the product manager of RFM's environment, a part of our R suite. And I'm gonna present you the latest features and optimizations we released in version 23.2. Let's go! We have made it possible to predefine action scripts. This is especially helpful when using the library function. First, you need to define the interchangeable content of an action script. Almost all elements are available for this purpose, such as inputs, outputs, buffers, bodies, and many more. The name of the definition corresponds to the placeholder name in the script. You can use the comment function to customize a tooltip for the user fillable fields to provide more information. In the script text, these placeholders are now written between three errors. The user then adds the required elements to the designated fields on the generated interface. During the compilation process, the compiler translates these fields and replaces them in the script. As a result, specific elements, such as a control panel in this example, can be predefined in the library. When the element is used, only the necessary and always changing information needs to be added. This, for example, creates a functional control panel that can be used in the RF80 project. During a virtual commissioning, it is sometimes necessary to add or remove a part from the line to retry a process without the need to reset everything. That's why we have implemented an easy way to define a global source and sync. Simply drop anybody into the assistance. This will always be the origin point and also the position of the sync. Then decide in which direction and distance the products should be aligned. After updating, you will have an unlimited amount of products at these positions to track to the cell and a sync to drop parts. We have added a dark mode for RFYAMS and RFYAMS assistance. You can switch the theme at any time. We have also integrated a new UI design. The inline editor design will automatically open the most recent fields of the selected item at the bottom of the project tree to view or editing these. You can also switch between the new and old UI design at any time. We have made it easier to edit the comment and station name inside the material flow assistance. Especially for large projects with a lot of buffers, this makes it easier to structure the station list. The static and RFID flag can also be set there. To implement a conveyor system with absolute position measurement, often used in heavy duty monorails, we need to know the exact length of the track forward the correct value to the PLC. We now display the length inside the track and also inside the monorail assistance. We have reworked the functionality of the VCD management. With the hidden bodies flag, we can now decide whether or not to include collision checking between visible and invisible bodies. Additionally, we now check the content of the collision list to set signals only if there is a collision between bodies in the same list. When the hidden bodies flag is set, the system will detect collisions between visible and invisible bodies and show the hidden ones. If the flag is false, it will simply detect only collisions between visible bodies. We have made some improvements to the trace functionality in our yams. Now you can see at a glance if the trace is busy or ready. You can also close the trace explicitly and create traces in USD format for use in NVIDIA Omniverse. We have also reworked the structure of the trace content in RFYAMS TV. Viewpoints are now allocated to their own tracks and you can change or delete tracks. You can also convert traces from YAMS TV to USD format for use in NVIDIA Omniverse. 